notifications on Sephora and get it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Tashai. Over here, I do a lot of beauty content, some vlogs, a little fashion. So if that seems like your vibe, make sure you subscribe. So today we have a current favorites video. I haven't done this in so long and I feel like I have so many different products. That I feel like I haven't really told you guys are my favorites. I mean, makeup, there's so many makeup products out there right now. There's new makeup products every month and I feel like I gotta give you guys a tea on the products that actually work and not just all hype. So let's let's just jump straight into it. We'll start with tools and then we'll go into actual products. When it comes to makeup tools, I kind of use the same things. It's very rare that I switch out brushes or makeup tools because I feel like if it works, it works. And I take good care of my brushes so I can usually have them for quite a long time. But these two brushes I've added to my collection have actually done a really good job and I actually really love them. So these two brushes are from the same brand and they are from Say beauty these two lovely brushes now i don't remember exactly what they're called but i will link them in the description box we'll start with this one i believe this one is called the fluffy brush so i love that it's like a black acrylic it's quite dense but it has a very tapered top which makes it like really fluffy so i started using this brush when i went to greece because you know when you're on holiday you want to do your makeup really quick you just want to get outside it's your vibes this is so good for blending cream bronzer or blush anything honestly when it comes to like sculpting the face i really really like this for i feel like it even has potential to be a good under eye brush i feel like this is just a very good multi-functional brush but for me i personally loved it to blend out my cream bronzer i feel like this is a very good travel brush it doesn't really have a compact like travel like to put it in to travel with but i find that when i want to do my makeup really really quickly and i just want to this is like a brush that i will reach for because it just it blends everything so seamlessly then we have the second brush this is called i think I don't know if it's the buffing brush i'm not really sure but the same kind of design with the packaging but this is just more dense this brush here is good for like picking up a lot of powder so if you want to powder a big part of your face like if you just want to use a powder foundation this would be amazing it's also nice for foundation but i find because it's so dense it doesn't have like a you can blend with it but it doesn't the bristles don't move enough for you to blend so you can apply product with this but i feel like with blending you need to do a bit more work i love this for bronzer also if you really want to have like more of a contour more of a defined face like this can really get into the edges there and like really define whereas this one i feel the bristles are better to like blend in circles if you want to do some blush this is a bit more functional in that way but this one i feel like it's really good to like push in products and really like sculpt another tool that i've been using literally probably seen in every video since i got this brush is this jessup makeup brush First of all, I got these in a collection. I got them on Amazon for I think under £30. All these brushes are amazing, such high quality. I use this one. This one is the MUL02 and I use the foundation. This is literally my favourite foundation brush I've tried. I tried a few foundation brushes, but this one has to be my favourite. Um, so as you can see, it has like a very weird like shape. It is quite dense, but it like it picks up product really well and I feel like it applies the perfect amount. I'm someone that I don't like a lot of foundation. I don't have any like hyperpigmentation or like dark areas or areas I need to even out. It's more so just like a base for me in, in all honesty. So I like that this brush doesn't, you don't have to pick up too much. Like it's very good. It's very easy to like go light with foundation with this. Whereas like with another brush, like for example, I used to love using this. Um, I think this is e.l.f. the buffing foundation brush i used to love using this for foundation this is also nice but i feel like with this brush i have more control on like the amount of product i take up and i just generally take up less product with this so i just get the coverage that i want whereas sometimes with this i could go a bit heavy-handed it gets everywhere i need to go and i love it when it comes to beauty sponges um i'm using my own at the moment and i can't drop the link yet so we're gonna have to leave it there for tools but let's get into complexion let's start off with primer i feel like i don't know why what took me so long to get onto this i feel like they came out with this in 2017 2018 took me down there three four five years to get onto this guys absolutely one of my favorites i've ever tried this is the fenty hydrating soft silk um pro filter primer amazing i love this just as an everyday primer that's what it says it's hydrating and it gives a soft focus and really good foundation for you know the next makeup steps and i'm literally halfway through now so that should tell you i really like it and i didn't get it that 
long ago so really love that that's more like an everyday hydrating primer and sometimes i will mix it with this one i'm about to show you guys my milk hydro grip and she is on her way out honey ain't much left in there <laughs> i love this let me tell you this has stuck with me through thick and thin through hot weather cold weather like this keeps showing up on there's not much more convincing i can do i know it's up there this is about I think about 45 pounds for the big bottle but when i tell you guys this is good if you can get it during the black friday sales or you can get a discount code use it and buy it just just buy it i remember at one point i think in paris like i was so hot like it was like a really hot day and when i take my makeup did not move like she was stuck the hype is real with this one like it's not fake the girls was not lying this is a really good product and my go-to at this point i'm rushing because i don't want to fork out another for you for it but i will but eventually because it's just so good so that is the milk hydro grip primer I might as well show you guys this one too because this is kind of in the same space get this get this that's all i gotta say get it this is the one size setting spray till dawn whatever this is like makeup super glue okay this keeps your makeup through through anything any activity your makeup will be lasting even when you're hot sweating your makeup's still not gonna move it is the go and when everyone found out Beyonce's makeup artist uses it it's now sold out everywhere the girl's been using this but you guys didn't believe it but now you know Beyonce's been using some renaissance and honestly I don't know what they put in this I don't know what they put in this but this is incredible like holds your makeup like your makeup ain't going nowhere it's gonna stay as flawless as it is but like I can't brag about this enough like I need another one and it's 30 pounds which i think is fair for as much product you get you get 143 mils and it's a really pretty bottle and yeah it's really good get it like there's no debate on this one like it's my favorite and i'm i'm giving you guys a tip give you guys the tips okay get this like put the notifications on sephora and get it so my next favorites i feel like some of them are oldies but goodies and i feel like i just need to retell you guys NARS Natural Radiant. I know they got the light reflecting one. Haven't tried it yet. What do you guys think? If you've tried it, what do you think? Should I try it out? Should I get it this Black Friday? Maybe. I don't know. But Natural Radiant, that girl. That girl been that girl. I feel like sometimes when new products come out, it's so easy to like just get hyped on new products. But when I tell you guys, I've been sleeping on her. I went to brunch with my friend. And I was like, oh, what foundation you wear? And she said, NARS. I was like, I don't want my NARS in a while. And baby, when I picked her back up, I said, should never starts because she has me flawless all the time like there's no one thing when it comes to nars in complexion products like you don't have to second guess you pick it up and you know your face is gonna look gorgeous you get the right shade match it's amazing and i feel like nars are really good with undertones um i feel like with dark skin black women when we are shopping for foundation sometimes the shade is there but the undertones off it's too red it's too golden it's too green looking like gray ashy like we can deal with a lot of that but i feel like nars is very good with like getting undertones i use a shade namibia which is i think a shade darker than i actually am i like to do that with my foundations all my foundations are almost a bit like a shade darker if half a shade just because i do highlight so i like to balance everything out and look extra warm and everything come together i forget what i mean powders i don't think anyone's surprised top two not two they're actually coming out with a new powder a press pa powder if you ever want to buy any under eye powder and your what powder? Hit a beauty. Hit a beauty. I have other amazing powders in my collection, but this is just my like. I can always go back to her and she's gonna do her job. So I have two powders of the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I have Kunafa and I have Banana Bread. As you can see, Banana Bread is quite light, so I use this as like a brightener. Like once I've done my concealer and i've set my face and everything i use this just to brighten my under eye um and give me just more of that bright effect that i like this one's more of like a everyday simple just set under eye it is bright so that it gives me a little bit of a brightness under my eyes but it's not super bright to where it gives me that snatched um airbrush like vibe but um yeah i do like this it's like more of a honey brown shade very nice i mean i don't know if you guys you guys can't really see it it's yellow but i feel like it's more golden it's not yellow like pastel it's more of like a nude golden shade which i think really complements my skin tone but obviously if i want a bit of brightness i always go with something lighter but i like having the option and lately i've been combining so i sat with this and then brighten with this um and i think the layering effect really 
makes my under eyes last and look really good. So next, my favourite cream bronzer. And it's crazy because there was a point where I had no cream bronzers. Like, I didn't use cream bronzers. I used to use concealer to bronze. And now, we have a whole collection of cream bronzers. And if you guys want me to do a collection video, I'm open to doing that. Because there's so much new stuff now in my collection. But this one is just that girl. This is the ABH cream bronzer in Chestnut. And honestly, I don't have that many ABH products. I feel like a few years ago... I like ABH was that brand like everyone was hyped for ABH and I feel like recently the hype has calmed down a bit I know they just came out of an eyeshadow palette which looks cute but I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I don't use so I just didn't want to spend the 50 pounds or 40 pounds on it but this I have to say is one of my favorite products from them their cream bronzes are amazing um, I'm not really sure about the shade range I feel like it's about seven or eight bronzes which is I think standard but this shade is gorgeous this is chesna and it's like a very nice warm brown it literally is perfect like i use it so much as you can see and i think you get a really fair amount you know compared to some of the bronzers that i've used before or i've bought before how much do you get 30 grams i feel like it's really good and i've had this for a little bit now and i still got so much left so i absolutely love that literally you probably see that in, in nearly every video it's one of my favorite cream bronzers eyeshadow palette i have to give it up for my makeup by mario let me tell you guys this is my favorite general everyday eyeshadow palette i don't travel without it i love the formula it's easy to blend this is my go-to palette you guys probably see in every single video it doesn't go nowhere without me and travel with it it's my fave so gotta give it up makeup by mario give her her tens love her recently this has been a favorite now when I first reviewed this, I told you guys, I don't see that hype. I don't really, you know, give what it's supposed to give, what the girl said it's giving. But I've recently been liking this. Like, this has been my go-to bronzer for the last two months now, and I actually really like it. I still stick with my opinion. I don't think you need to jump out and buy it. The price probably gone up on it, because when I got it, it was like £40, and I got a discount on it, and I was still a bit eh about the price. And I think now it's probably like £44, £43, which is a lot of money um but it's a really nice bronzer it's a really nice bronzer but ugh, i just feel like sometimes the price of makeup is just ugh. i still feel like they should extend extend the shade range for how much these are i feel like you should at least have about six shades of bronzer not four four is a bit sad the shade range need to expand but yeah this has been my girl i got the shade well the deepest shade of course i got the shade deep deep four i've got a shout out elf elf is one of the like i feel like elf is a very good affordable brand i feel like recently they've been coming out with some fire products and they've been doing their thing like my brows to me is my weakest part of makeup i'm not the best at my brows i can just about do them i feel like this is just an extra step this is the brow lift it's like a clear brow like gel and you can just put it on your brows i have them on now and they just keep your brows in place and just keep them looking good and they really give like that laminated spiky look like if you're trying to like get your brows to like lay flat they do that really well but it's like soft it's not like stiff or looks like crunchy or feels crunchy it still feels soft but it literally lays your brow hairs down which i really like i like my brows to look soft and like as natural as possible i don't want it to look spiky and like <sighs> like i like some softness to them i like my brows i feel like they look quite natural but like they have shape and i, I just like how they are I'm not best at brows but this I feel like has really helped my brows stay on for longer and also look natural and feel natural and not look like drawn on like they look good. This little pencil here Morphe Richie liner I don't have much to say about this I don't have much to talk about this this is the only lip liner I use I don't use anything else I have other lip liners I don't use anything else this is like a deep dark brown like she is dark yeah if you want a deep dark brown lip liner get you richie i hope she's still available because i need to even go on and order another bulk because i ordered about six and i feel like i've opened all of them now so i need to go and do another order but this is amazing and then my last favorite is no surprise my heat chocolate heat chocolate hot chocolate heat gloss bomb love this this is like my go-to lip gloss i love that it plumps the lips i love the color i'm wearing it now if i'm not wearing my lip glosses i'm wearing this i have so many up there as you guys can see but i always go for this like this is like my go-to throw it in the bag even when i do other lip combos i always throw this in my bag because i just know it matches my lip color and it's easy like if my lip combo comes off throughout the night and i'm out i don't want to go if i don't want to go into a mirror and do a whole lipstick lip gloss combo i know i have this in my bag 
I just lip line for this one and it works with but um yeah I guess that wraps up all my favorites I didn't have too much I just wanted to come and get to the straight to the point and tell you guys what I've been loving um I have been buying new makeup now so by the end of the year I might do another one of these just to let you guys know if anything's changed and I'm just excited to try I got so much new stuff so I just wanted to make sure I came and showed you guys what I'm loving so far because we're about to jump right back into the makeup game now so things might change and things might you know come out come back in so we'll see but as of right now these are my favorites going into autumn winter so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this favorite video don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one